Hi, my name is Thomas, and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. In today's episode, we'll be checking how different branded blades behave with a sliding mitre saw from Evolution that come with dedicated blades. So, if you're interested to see how they perform, how they work, check out the video. So which saw have I got? I've got the sliding mitre saw R255 SMS. So let's flip the top and have a look at it. And here it is. It's a fairly basic sliding mitre saw. There's no bells and whistles with it, but it's a solid tool and I'm actually very happy with it. As you can see, I've got my special uh, jig over here. Um, to be fair, it works wonders for me. So if you want to check the design and how to make it yourself, I'll link the video up above and obviously down below as well. You can check it out. And I will be using that today to have the zero clearings uh, plate here to see the actual performance of four blades with cross cuts. What blades are we going to be using? Obviously the standard multi-blade from Evolution, a wood cutting a dedicated blade from Evolution, a Freud blade, 60 teeth, and finally a Saxton blade, 80 teeth. Now one thing that you have to consider uh, before buying any blades uh, for your Evolution tools, um, all the Evolution saws, the bore size, which is the hole over here, it's actually 25.4 millimeters. And more or less all the standard blades have 30 millimeters and it's very difficult to find blades with that bore size that fits evolution saws and probably that was a step by evolution themselves to you know point you to the direction of their blades rather than anybody else's but saxton blades have actually got two blades I've got uh, this 80 teeth and the 40 teeth blades, they both come with 25.4 millimeters bore holes. So you do not need any reducing rings. So the safety of using those is actually increased. Obviously the Freud blade has got a 30 millimeter bore hole. So I had to use the reducing ring as you can see over here. Now I've talked about the reducing rings for these blades a little bit more in my previous video where I'd explored using different branded blades for the table saw from Evolution. So if you were interested in that, check out that video. Again, I'll link it up above and down below in the description so you can have a look and see what are my thoughts on the reducing rings. The first blade we're actually going to be testing is the standard multi-blade from Evolution. And the material of choice, yes, of course, it will have to be plywood, as this will give us the best indication how these blades perform. Let's check it out. Now, a quick change of the blades, the Evolution wood dedicated cutting blade will be installed now. And now it's time for the Saxton blade. Let's have a look how it performs. And the final blade of today test is a Freud blade with a reducing ring. Now this one is only 60 teeth. I didn't manage to get a equivalent to the Saxton blade 80 teeth at a reasonable price. <laughs> I just couldn't basically afford an 80 teeth. I've just seen in the last video I've done about blades and the evolution source, I've actually got the 40 teeth version and this 60 teeth as well, where I test them all on the table so from evolution rage 5s so uh, let's put this bad boy in and see how this performs Oh, 
Okay, so as you've seen, Evolution saw working with different branded blades. Absolutely fine, no issues at all. The Saxton blade obviously comes with the bore 25.4, so there's no hassle or any additional health and safety issues there. Whereas the uh, Freud blade, you have to have a reducing ring um, to make sure it actually fits the Evolution source. Now, as you've seen, that didn't cause any issues at all. And the Freud blade works just fine. There's no wobble, no uh, any other issues at all. And since my initial video that I've posted with the table saw, I've been using um, Freud blades and Saxton blades all the time. And I have to say so far, two, three weeks, no issues at all. But obviously there will be a follow up video on all the blades that are presented to you on the uh, table saw uh, video in probably about six or seven months time when i actually have some time with those blades so if you don't want to miss that video and you're not a subscriber to my channel i do encourage you to subscribe to my channel and press that bell notification button please as well because that will notify you of all the videos i will be actually posting so you don't miss anything and as we are in the self-promotion bit drop me that like button down as well it really helps a lot but let's have a look what are the results of our tests. All right then, so the first part was the Evolution Multi-Blade and as you can see, uh, there is a bit of a tear out um, at the back end of the board. At the front is actually not too bad, but you can feel the rigidness. Inside, there isn't actually any blade marks. And on the reverse side, Again, there is a bit of a tear out over here, as you can see. The next blade is the Evolution Wood Cutting Blade. It's still got a bit of a tear out, as you can see, but I think it's slightly better than the Multi Blade. On the other side, is actually not too bad, apart from this end fairly large amounts of tear out. So to be fair, I would probably say it's on par with the multi-blade, which is a shame. Okay, the next one is the Saxton um, trial. And I have to say the cut is absolutely almost perfect. Really nice and crisp edges, as you can see. There isn't much of any visible tear out um, to the feel. It's actually not too bad either. Far, far better than the Evolution blades. Inside, obviously, there's no marks of the blades. And on the other side, let's have a look. It's actually very nice as well with just slight, tiny little bit of a tear out over here, but nothing major at all. And in the end, the Freud blade. Let's have a look at this one. Well, actually, it has got more tear out than the Saxton blade, which I'm really surprised. Although you have to account for the fact that this is 60 teeth, not 80 as the Saxton blade. So to be f I'm still a little bit disappointed in that. I thought it would be a far, far better. Inside, obviously, it's fine. And the reverse, uh, the reverse is actually oh, almost perfect, bit of a chip out there, nothing major. Uh, yeah, the reverse is absolutely perfect, which I'm quite surprised that the front is actually not, not that great. I'll try to show you this if I can. So that's the edge, as you can see, bit of a tear out over there nothing major but still is there whereas the saxton blade is perfect really is really nice so there you go bit of a surprise again really i was really expecting freud to be the absolute top winner but the saxton blades are actually very very good for fraction of the money now time will tell if they're gonna hold up over time 
or if actually Freud will last far, far longer and will give far better cuts over time. But again, time will tell. Now, the only thing I regret at this point is not being sponsored by Saxton. I have to say, when using the machine with different blades, the multi-blade was hard to push through the material. The Evolution, uh, the wood one, it was slightly better. Um, and the Freud and Saxton blades, the feel going through the wood was on par. Very easy knife through butter. I have to say the difference between Saxton Freud and the Evolution blades, um, obviously it's, it's totally, totally out of their own leagues. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why, but Evolution don't offer different types of blades. And as you know, there are different types of blades for a reason, for to do different types of jobs. And I hope Evolution will see that soon and actually give us a bit more choice with the blades um, that we can use in different aspects of our woodworking. And if you're interested in my tool reviews or anything like that, I've actually made a, a series of videos re-reviewing my tools after one or two years. So it will give you an indication of if they're worth buying or not, what's fine with them or what went wrong. If you want to see that list, I've got a whole playlist for you. Should appear just here, click it, check it out. Maybe there are some tools that you are actually interested in. So go and have a look. But for me, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Until next time, take care.